With me now is Pat Toomey. Pat is president of the Club for Growth. Now, Pat, you say the future of the free market movement itself could be in jeopardy here. Explain. Well, my point in, in that regard, Neil, is that it's very, very important that we be clear about how we got into this mess and we understand that this has not been so much a failure of markets and a failure of capitalism as it has been a failure of government. Now, the left and Barack Obama have tried to make the argument that this is a failure of uh, capitalism and free markets. If that story becomes the story that takes hold and becomes the accepted narrative of the American public, then I'm afraid we could be in for a period of enormous and very counterproductive government interference and regulation and higher taxes and spending, and that will not be conducive to economic growth. But so that, that is, that is Senator McCain's at the front of that line. You know, I, I, I understand your point. I think you're being a little harsh on Senator McCain for this reason, Neil. I, I happen to disagree with his vote on the bailout and his, some of his recent comments, but if you look at the context of this man's career, he voted against the farm bill repeatedly, he's voted against the prescription drug bill, he's always fought against earmarks long before anyone ever Bingo, heard of Pat, earmarks. Bingo, Pat, that's my point. He has a record, a clear record. He's right, Mr. Earmark right. and he's marked waste and abuse. Now he's just trying to outspend the other guy. And I, this is not the John McCain I knew in the Senate. This is not the John McCain who had a history of challenging his party on military spending and forbidding contracts that he said were bogus. I, I don't know what's happened. Uh, you know, I think it's a bit of an aberration, but I think, uh, you know, it, when you consider the circumstances, you know, the Treasury Secretary and the President uh, virtually held a gun to Congress's head and said, you need to pass this or else the world's going to come to an end. It made it very, very difficult for a lot of conservatives to vote no. I mean, we at the Club for Growth recommended a no vote. I still think that would have been a better course of action. But these are tough circumstances. I think you need to look at Senator McCain's overall career. And as you acknowledge, over the course of his career, he has been an advocate for so, limited Pat, government. So, Pat, distinguish yourself. Let, you know, and I see what you're saying, and I share the same respect for his honor, his patriotism, and his very tough spending past. I see zero evidence of it in this campaign. And that was the candidate who I think many Republicans thought that they would see in this race. Instead, he's in a battle to see who can outspend. And, and whether it's $300 billion in mortgage relief or going back on a package you signed and saying it wasn't the package you signed and blaming the other guy for signing a, a different package from the one you signed, my gosh, it's just, it's weird. Neil, I, I, I'm not going to suggest that, that I agree with everything Senator McCain has said about this, but I do think you need to look at the overall context. And on this campaign, he went to Iowa and said we should be opposed to this farm bill because it's wrong. He's continued to consistently oppose earmarks. Right. He's advocated a freeze and, and a very large segment of federal spending. Well, you know, I he should advocate, Pat, then he should advocate a freeze on his own spending plans right now. But we'll see, Pat. You raise a number of good points. We respectfully disagree on this, but I love having you on. Thanks for having me now. All right, Pat Toomey.